Okay guys, I'm having some issues recording so I'm just going to display the PowerPoint on my laptop and record from my phone. This presentation is going to be on translations using column vectors. So a translation moves the shape from one position to another. Um, what you'll see here, there are two shapes, so one here and one there. And what we're going to do is translate each of them. So the first shape moves one, two, three, four, five to the right, and one, two, three up, as you can see with the arrows. The second shape moves one, two, three to the left, and one, two down. Again, indicated by the arrows. Now, we can describe the translation using a column vector. What's a column vector? It's basically like a pair of coordinates of x and y, but it's written as a column, hence it's called a column vector. And it's, lit it's literally x at the top and y at the bottom. x describes the movement left and right, and y describes the movement up and down. Now, what we, got to remember, what we need to remember is that we should first start off by always writing the movements as so. Write them as right, left, up, down to start off with, and then afterwards change that to a column vector. So 5 right is going to be positive 5 and 3. So any movement left or down is going to be given a negative value. So 3 left is going to be negative 3, and 2 down is going to be negative 2. Okay, this example says describe the translation taking shape A to shape B in words and as a vector. So always start off as words like I said. Now in the example it says draw the shape onto tracing paper, but I am using a practical example. So I'm using, a, I'm using my laptop similar to some of you guys are going to be doing soon. So I'm going to show you what to do. So draw the shape onto tracing paper. Obviously we can't do that. So if you did have tracing paper and it was printed out, then you would just move it along and you'd find that it moves uh, 6 to the right and uh, 5 down, okay? Now, if you don't have tracing paper, what you're going to have to do, what you're going to do is you're going to take a point, for example, this one here, and you know it's going to end up down there. So what you're going to do is take this point and count along, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the right, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. Now double check that again with a different point. So I'm going to do it with this one down here now. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've checked it with two points now. And both of them move 6 right and 5 down. So now I can use these words to actually convert that into a column vector. So if it's going right, don't forget it's going to be positive. Uh, 6 positive and if it's going down it's going to be a negative 5. Here's another example. Describe the translation taking shape C to shape D in words and as a vector. So again the same thing. So if you have tracing paper you can use that. Trace the shape and it's going to be 1, 2 to the left and 1, 2, 3, 4 down. Of course if you don't have tracing paper just take a point 1, 2 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4 down. And then do that again for a different one, so perhaps this one or this one, and you should find that it's going to be the same. Then you can use that to actually write the column vector, so that's going to be a negative 2 since it's going left, and a negative 4 since it's going down. So with this question here, it says describe the following translations using column vectors. Uh, just be careful from you know, as to which way you're going. So it says A to B. So A to B there and E to D, C to A. So you just have to be careful um, in which way you move. So if you're going from A to B, it's going to be uh, minus 5, so 5 to the left and 2 down, so minus 5, 2. If you're going from E to D, it's going to be negative 7, negative 1. C to A, you're going up and then you're going right, so it's going to be 2, and then it's going to be 5. So don't forget the first one is describing right and left, up and down. So even though to start off with, you may go up and then you may go along as it did in this example here, don't get confused as to what you write there. So 
as you can see um, in the example on this PowerPoint it doesn't write down the um, actual steps it doesn't state it's five left and then uh, you know five right and two down etc that is going to help you so much so that's just the proof there because here it's very easy to get that confused let me just show you again so it says from C to A right so we're going to go up by one two three we're going up by I'll show you again one two three four five and then two along so we're going up by five and two along now you could write five two however it's actually two and five because it's supposed to be left right first and then up or down so that's why it's very important for you to write the words first and then change those into column vectors now if you keep going um yeah, i'll just go through these answers quickly there we go and i want to focus on this question so i want to focus on this question here it says a translation vector that takes shape a to shape b is five negative four so it's gone five right and four down what translation vector takes shape b to shape a well you're just going in the opposite direction so you're going up by four and left by five so the numbers are going to change sorry the numbers are going to be the same but the um negative is going to change so it's actually going to be negative five this time because you're going back on yourself and that's going to be uh, positive four question five the translation vector takes shape a um, to shape b is one three shape b is then translated to shape c by the vector negative three two what vector takes shape a to shape c now in this kind of question now in this kind of question, if you can't see what's going on, I recommend that you draw a shape and you translate it by these vectors here. What shape should you draw? Just stick to a basic square. Okay, stick to a very basic shape. It doesn't have to be anything like this. And just translate it by this vector and then translate it again by this vector here. It could be any size, so um, it could just be two centimeters by two centimeters. So use your graph paper and make sure that you stick to the same size when you actually draw the new shape as well if you want the answer for that it should be um, negative 2 and 5 and then that should be 2 and negative 5 so in this example this is translate the following shape by the vectors 5 and negative 2 now as you can see there are a lot of points for you to consider 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 um, do we need to look at every single one of them I wouldn't because if you don't have tracing paper it's very difficult to do every single one so just pick one uh, I would pick one two and three and then you can actually see the shape and it's going to be very simple for you to draw that how it should look again draw the shape on tracing paper that's what it's asking you to do five to the right and two down so what i would do personally i would take this corner here and draw it there and i know for a fact it's one two three squares down so i don't really need to do this one all right i just i just need a starting point and then i know it's two squares along so i'm not going to bother doing this one either but what i am going to do is this one right there so i'm going to translate that so it's going to be one two three four five to the right and one two down okay i've got that correct and then i would probably do this one here so one two three four five and then one two once you've got those three at least you should be able to fill in the rest of the shape because it's going to be exactly the same dimensions as the original shape